Welcome to Steelfest 2017. Here we have one and only Sinister, a Dutch metal legend. Here we have five of them, which is way too much I can handle. So maybe they give me a beat down. But first of all, let's ask them some questions. So, think the idea who we are having here. Who are you guys? I'm Dennis, I play guitar. Toop, drums. Uh, Alt, the singer. It's Lane, bass. I'm Ricardo, and I play guitar. So, is this your uh, first time in Finland? Yeah, for me it's the first time. I don't think for Art, but... No. For me it's the uh, second time. You were way too wasted in the first time, you don't even remember it. First time was years ago with uh, Cannibal Corpse. Well, when he was a young guy. Yeah. But, but for me it's also the first time. <laughs> when I had hair on every spot. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, does death metal, playing death metal, does it make you old or young? Well, I'm 50, so I think young. Yeah, you look like 30. So, yeah. Do you, thank you. <laughs> do, do, do you get a lot of young groupies? Uh, yes. <laughs> Is it a positive thing? Yeah. Is this broadcasted in Holland? <laughs> uh, we can cut it off. <laughs> okay. Because he's married. <laughs> Nobody gives a shit. No, I have a beautiful wife. Yeah, you said some family greetings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And two beautiful girls, my daughters. So. Hey, this is not a family show. We don't care about your family. Seven hundred girlfriends. <laughs> no. That's why I blocked my Facebook. <laughs> so, what is Sinister lineup 2017? I mean, like you have had a lot of changes during the years. How has that impacted on the band? As I mean, in general, Who wants to go. Uh, I'm the only one from the beginning, so um, yeah, I think um, I just say. It, it uh, didn't have too much impact on the music, I think. Of course, like when you have new guitar players, of, of course they have their own idea with writing music. So every time, of course, it's a little bit different, but I think it's still sinister, I think. So it doesn't have too much impact. Might even get better and better, yeah, if for, I can say for, so. Yeah, I think it's, uh, we are now making more the music that, I, that, I, that me and the band like. So I think, yeah, it's only better going better. So. There's not really some negative stuff for me, no. Okay. In Finland we have the saying that when you change your car to a newer car, it obviously is better, runs be faster, smoother and stuff. And same, same saying applies to women as well. Uh, Do you think this applies to uh, switching band members? Uh, yeah, sometimes it is and sometimes not. Like uh, a lot of members, they start always really fanatic and nothing is a problem and blah, blah. But then they find out after some time that it's not only fun, but also that you have to work really hard for being in a band, so... The wife yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, and then uh, some people stay and uh, a lot of people go. And not, it's not only because of fight, or, but it's a lot of time that they cannot handle the traveling or stuff like this, so... Yeah, you have to, yeah. This, this band is really... Yeah, I think we all have the noses in the same direction. So everybody wants to play as much as possible and that's... And it's well yeah. since we've been with the band it's never been so good as, as it, it's, it's been now so you're a really intact group right now uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's all about energy and if you're out balanced because of obligations of work or wife or other things in life you want to do yeah, then yeah you have to choose can, can I be in the band as sinister because that means something a rehearsal flying all over the world making CDs so it takes a lot of time and if it's, not, if it's not possible, yeah, then, then you have to choose otherwise. And that's a normal process, what happens also in, in uh, Sinister, but like uh, Napalm, Dead, Sepultura, I don't know, uh, name all bands. It's, it's a normal process of a band. And it's of course you want to be better and better <coughs> if you take new people in the band. It's, it's about priorities. And I think for all five of us, Sinister is our main priority. That's, that's how we can cut it short. Do you do you afford to have uh, any side projects to, you know, cr create uh, variations to the Sinister band or any other stuff? Yeah, he's doing. I'm doing some side projects, but Sinister is my main band, so it's on the side. Well, actually, how we ended up playing with Sinister was because we did a side project with uh, with Art called Absurd Universe, and actually the whole side project became Sinister when <laughs> the other guys left Sinister, so. Uh, and we're still here, so uh, yeah, I think it's good. Right. Uh, uh, there's a lot of guest vocals on, 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 on other bands, CDs. Uh, Took played in Carnival, um, in... Um, uh, 
<laughs> can, can sing it. Sing, sing it. it. Uh, Maybe wrap it. Uh, universe? No, the other one with that. Uh, Roll it. Uh, Supreme Pain. Supreme Pain. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Uh, we know each other for a lot of time, so it's, it's not uh, really uh, strange that he asked me for drums. And I play with Dennis also for decades, so yeah. it was not strange that we had this uh, setting. All right. uh, it's been a, quite a while since the debut album, Aggressive Sticks. What is the secret of uh, Sinister to go for almost 30 years now? Uh, for me, it's that I, uh, I'm a big fan of the, of the extreme music. And I, uh, I love to play with the band. For me, it's not. It doesn't feel like. Uh, I don't know. For me, it's natural. It's okay. It's a part of my life. So for me, it feels always good, and I don't want to quit. So yeah, I say it's not a struggle or something. It's like I have fun with it. So I think, and then it's easy to go on. So why death metal? Let's bring you in because you've been all the way silent. Why death metal? Did death metal choose you, or did you choose death metal? Oh, that's a difficult question. I started listening to uh, metal since I'm seven uh, and death metal since I'm 14. And I love playing, I love the difficulty of playing it. <coughs> and I think it's the most uh, aggressive music that uh, I can put it out, what I'm, what I'm feeling in the, in the instrument, uh, the composition, everything is, is perfect uh, the, way, the way it's done, you know. Uh, it's extreme, it's good, uh, it's powerful, uh, it's technical. Um, I studied many years guitar, so I, I couldn't find um, this feeling in other genres of music. I, when I played also uh, just metal or just uh, power metal or this kind of stuff when I was learning the guitar, it was just, yeah, you, you don't feel the, the same thing, you know? All right, when it comes to lyrics, who wants to answer this one? You. So, what are the ideas and uh, stuff that gets your uh, writing uh, pen going on? The, the previous CD was a concept about the post-apocalyptic uh, uh, servant. Uh, it was time after thousand years and, uh, and then all kinds of stories happen. It was just an idea I had for, for a long time. And I, I asked Art, uh, do you mind if I play some lyrics because uh, yeah, maybe it's, it's something to, uh, a vocalist has to do. And he said, no, no, uh, go ahead, go ahead. So I wrote some lyrics and uh, I said, oh, that's very cool. And no, I decided also to write the lyrics for the last record, Syncretism. It's more based on the uh, occultism and the, the old uh, yeah, lyrics, like uh, maybe Cross the Sticks was also yeah, more yeah. like black metal-ish lyrics. So yeah, it, it, it just went like this. But, so, it, but it's always like, like we have an idea in which direction we want to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so do do you have a problems or is it just cool to go with the older lyrics and, uh, and albums and stuff? Sorry, what do you mean? You mean the older albums, like previous uh, vocalists and stuff? Uh, I didn't write the lyrics, so. Yeah, I mean, do you have a problem going going with them? No, of course. You, no, no, no. Uh, obviously, we prefer to play the songs that that yeah. we recorded ourselves, of course. but. Being sinister, you ha you, it's impossible to, to, to don't play any older songs. You have to play some, some older songs for the, for the older fans as well. So yeah, what we try to do is like... Uh, a, good mix. a good mix, yeah. Is there any uh, certain songs or album uh, uh, material that your fans are most eager to like, hear on every fucking gig you do? Even to a level of boringness? Yeah, I think it's Cross the Sticks and the Hate Record. I cannot hear it anymore. Ah, I'm joking. But it's, uh, yeah, for me, I, I can, of course, I can understand because they approach the music as a fan and I approach the music as a musician. So, uh, of course, when you're working for one or two years on a new record, you, you, you like to play always your newer stuff. So, of course, but it's what Dennis said, you have to play some, you have to play some old stuff, but most we do new stuff. Uh, uh. So, uh, let's get to a bit to a more serious side now that we are dying. Done with all the laughing and stuff. Okay, let's, let's pause then. Yeah, yeah. Let's make grim faces. Uh, the political climate in the extreme metal side. Uh, 
it has got, uh, gone bad with many of the black metal bands, but it obviously touches many of the death metal bands as well. And you being in the Central European area, you also get to, I, I'm sure that you get to feel all these kind of uh, backlashes from cancelled shows because of uh, Nazi accusations or right-wing uh, stuff or stuff like that. I mean, like, the political climate can be a bit awkward. How does that affect you as a band? We, we, we didn't have any, any problems with that no, at all. So and and we we don't we try to not mix politics with music. No. We think music is something you should enjoy, and politics is something you is uh, that that you feel inside of you. Or that, that, yeah. uh, some lyrics might have some politics in it, but only I know that. <laughs> this is but, but, of the songwriter. Uh, but could you, for example, like here? You know, people have been trolling. I don't know because you probably don't know Finnish uh, metal news, but you know, since there are some bands that have, let's say, some right-wing accusations or whatever, yeah. and and uh, you know, like Antifa kind of uh, people have been trying to stop these kind of, as well as religious groups. I mean, like as you know, this kind of music is always target for those that don't just you know like the message. How do you cope with that, or do you have problems like playing with certain kind of bands because? They might just get you labeled. Uh, to, to, be on, to be honest, it's like we, uh, I think we don't have anything to do with this. We don't care. We we do our own stuff. We we make our own lyrics. It is to be honest, it has nothing to no. do with political stuff. Nothing. We do our music, and that's it. And we make the the evil music uh, lyrics because we like it. Yeah. That's it. Like or we make gore lyrics because we like it. That's it. We have nothing. It's what Dennis said. Political stuff is. What you have in your head, and that's what you. It's a personal thing. There's nothing to we. We never preach anything with our music. Nothing. So, for us, it's no issue at all. Nothing. We want to play music for everybody. So, if you put like political text or, or messages in your music, you're going to label yourself to to a certain audience, and that's what we don't want. We want everybody to, to listen to our music. It's what, it's what you said, like uh, when there's a band uh, playing, uh, when we play with a band who are eh, who are really clear in their lyrics. Mm -hmm. For me, uh, yeah, when they want to do this, it's their problem, I don't care. As long yeah. when they are friendly to us yeah. and don't start preaching to us, because I, uh, everybody has his own uh, idea, so then it's for us no problem at all. They can do what they want, as long as they are friendly, it's no problem for us. Oh. Cool. Yeah. So since you're Dutch guys and Dutch, I mean, um, Netherlands is yeah. very known for, uh, let's say, some ingredients that can, uh, or substances that can enhance your songwriting <laughs> skills. Or uh, <laughs> what, what is what is your input to these uh, Dutch experiments? Experiment. You mean all the smoking and all the stuff you can imagine yeah. getting from the <laughs> for uh, writing? It helps a lot. So that's oh, everything. And yeah. for my headache, so but for writing, yeah, it's it's nice. So, what would be your, your choice of uh, drug? Uh, do you do you recommend to audience to get everything out of Sinister album? <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to advertise. I just say, I, ju I just say, listen to the music and yeah. do whatever you feel like. Uh, it's just about the music. Yeah. And you know, these questions we get a lot of time. Yeah. But for us, uh, like using uh, weed or maybe even cocaine, it's like drinking a beer. If you like, if you like it, you do it. If you don't like it, you don't. It's nothing. It's it's, it's not a special issue in in Holland, you know. Yeah, I did, if you want, you can get it. And yeah, if you don't want it, no, it's, okay. It's, 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 it's like every, every, nobody understands, but but since in Holland it's really easy to get, lots of people don't 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 use it at all. Like for instance, in the States, everybody is doped up. Like shit. It's simple when you when it's normal for you, you don't care. And when you not can get it, then it's special. Yeah. So yeah. for us, like, yeah. So yeah, but that's true. So when it's like, yeah, it's same with your lady. When she's at home, you hate her. When she's gone, it's like, oh, <laughs> yeah, you. So so it's like, yeah. For us, it's nothing special. Like, so this is like a family show after all. You know, lady, tr lady tips, tips to drugs, tips how to do, uh, listen to it, sinister albums and stuff. Okay, uh, don't underestimate family guys because yeah. we can real be assholes yeah. if you fuck with us. So. <laughs> Ooh, now we're scared. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, we're finishing finishing up, so you can finish. Finish. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for that one. To -dunt. To -dunt. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what will fin Finland offer you uh, besides obvious booze, uh, ugly people, and, and and warm weather for the? Are you going to experiment with sauna or Finnish 
I don't know what. I know we were from the from the from the airport. We were going to the hotel. <laughs> from the hotel to here, and then playing, and then go back. And tomorrow morning or tomorrow evening, we have a plane again. So. We're I think there's not much to sightseeing for us. I've seen, <laughs> I've seen, I've seen them all. Like an interview with the Finnish guy, so yeah, yeah. Uh, let, do we have a question for him? <laughs> I can answer it. So, what should you propose that we should do in Finland? Uh, sauna, <laughs> obviously. You probably should take uh, sell the licorice. It's the Finnish candy, the really black ones. That's you don't get, you don't get to eat that much uh, outside Finland, yeah. and you probably should taste Finnish beer just to re uh, realize it's not very good. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, thank you for this after interview. The, after the show, everything's, uh, everything will be fine. Uh. All right, hey, thank you guys. This was really a pleasure. I hope you had a good evening and a good show, obviously. Well, I hope also that you will be coming back before it's too late, because you're a bunch of old fucks. You're gonna yeah. die soon. Am I right? We, we are, they are okay. But they I are young, middle, young guys. I am middle-aged. Yeah. We're, we're, we're the puppies of the band. Yeah. Right. You, you keep the flame going on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think the oldies have more energy than the, the youngsters. <laughs> we're gonna see a fight here. Okay, who wants to say the last regards to the uh, uh, camera? Uh, well, you're the vocalist. Yeah. I'm not a vocalist. No, but now you are. Oh. Yeah. oh. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, enjoy uh, to whom? If, uh, enjoy the festival, but it's stupid because they, they will be broadcasted after the festival. What about other festivals? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, just go to the Facebook sites and see where we play and uh, we hope to come back of course. And we play all over Europe this summer. So uh, hands up and greetings from Sinister. So, and if you're not here, you're fucked up because it sucks. These guys are here, we're here. You don't know what, not here, so. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. We're out heading to new directions and new boundaries to be broken. Be right back, motherfuckers.